Hey guys, just a quick video. I'm going to show you how you can put some life into your still images inside of DaVinci Resolve. So here I have the same image. You can see it's a still image over here. And we're going to be creating depth map of this image to bring our images to life. Depth maps, if you go by the definition, it basically contains information relating to the distance of the surfaces of seen objects from a viewpoint. In simple terms, what it means is this is our depth map image and we have some information in our image. So whatever is in the black over here is going to be the thing that is or the object that is going to be farthest thing away from the camera. And whatever is in the white is going to be the thing that is going to be the nearest object from the camera. And whatever is in the middle will be uh, displayed with this gray color over here. And the displacement node can read this information and allow you to animate your still images so um, to create the depth map of your image if you're using DaVinci Resolve studio version then in the fusion page you have the depth map effect so if you search for depth map you should see it right in the tools option over here to the tool menu over here but since I'm using the free version uh, I'll be generating the depth map image online um, so I have this website over here and it will allow you to um, generate death maps online. I'll put the link in the description. So you just have to simply upload your image over here and then click on generate or submit and then it should uh, give you an output of the image and you can just save this image and just bring both of these images inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now you can also create death map images yourself. You can use an image editing program to do this. It's not that difficult, it's pretty simple. And the more complex or more detailed your depth map is, the more better your animation will look. So uh, since this is just a tutorial, I'm just gonna use this online tool to create or generate our depth map. And I'm gonna go to the media pool over here. I already have uh, the image over here, our main image, and then we have the depth map over here. So let me just rename this real quick. So this is going to be our main image, and this is going to be our depth map. Now all you have to do is just search for a node called displace. So search for displace and click on add and just connect the main image to the displace and then also connect the depth to this displace node and just simply view this and you should see your main image over here. If by any chance you see the depth map then you, all you have to do is right click on the displace node, click on swap inputs. As you can see that right now I'm seeing depth map. If you have the same look, then you have to right click on your displace and click on swap inputs. Now you should see your main image over here. And now you can just use this um, crosshair thing and you can just move around your image and create your animation. But as you can see, we get these uh, little uh, weird edges. So if I just zoom into this, you can see that um, we have some artifacts around the edges and in order to fix this what we can do is we can um, after this depth over here the depth node add in a blur tool and you can just simply so this is our depth image and then this is our blur tool and we can just increase the blur size like so and that will smoothen out the edges over here so now if you go back to the displays you can see that now we can just move around more freely around the uh, around the scene over here and also our edges will not look that uh, sharp also you can go ahead and change the offset if you want but i kind of like the default values over here you can definitely play around with this uh, for the animation i'm going to right click on center x and y click on modify with and then we are going to choose a perturb go to modifiers and since we want the animation to be in up and down direction which is vertically so what i can do is we can just set the x scale which is the horizontal scale to zero and now our animation will be just in an up and down motion so let me just zoom out a little bit you can see the entire animation over here and yeah there you go you can see that looks pretty cool looks like as if he's breathing and holding this gun and yeah you can definitely play around with these settings over here um, you can increase the scale amount but i really don't think you should do that you can definitely play around the y scale over here just you know, if you think it's too intense you can uh, reduce that a little bit uh, you have the option to change the strength but i think the default values look just fine so yeah, that's 
pretty much it. That's how you can create this uh, effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. I have another example over here. I have this image over here of a cave. So let me just drag and drop it. Just replace it with the main image. And I have the uh, displacement map, or sorry, the depth map as well. So which is, I'm gonna replace it like so. Drag and drop it, click on replace. And yeah, we already have the animation. You can see that same animation applies over here as well, which is looking pretty great. You can then, after this space node, also add in a transform node. You can just maybe create a scale animation on this. So for example, you can click on uh, size and create a keyframe, go to the last frame and just increase the size as well. So yeah, that is another option that you can do. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, that's how you can create this um, animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video was helpful. Hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.